Hey, it's Mars and this is Let's Make a Dungeon Crawler Part 3. In this video, we'll be setting up our interface. So Plygame comes with an example UI. Let's take a look at that now. I'll navigate to PL Young, Ply RPG, and I'll double click on, in the documentation folder, Sample UI, and I will import all. And this gives us our UI scene, which is in the GUI folder and scene folder. And I'll drag that scene into my scenes folder. And if I double click that, it takes us to our UI. I'll enable 2D mode and press F. And here is our canvas. Here is our example user interface. And uh, to start off, I'll go to the RPG UI game object. That's our canvas. And I will add a canvas scalar component and set it to scale with a screen size of 1920 by 1080 and then making sure my game window is set to 16 by 9. So let's go back to my level 1 scene and I'll turn off 2D and go back to my player and we want to combine our UI scene with our level 1 scene and then we want it to follow, follow us around so let's go to, let's make an empty game object and I'll name this something like scene manager, level manager and we'll go to add component and give it apply blocks and we will say on start common on start and then in the GUI category there's a load UI block and using that it will combine our RPG UI scene with the current scene that we're in. So here's the idea. Let's say we're in our level, our main menu scene, and we click on the new game button. That would take us to town, or level one as we're in now. And the first time we enter town, we want it to load our UI. And that's what we're doing with this load UI ply blocks. However, if we were to leave town into the foggy forest scene and then enter town again, this ply blocks is going to give us a second user interface. So we, we, what we want to do is I'll click on this settings button here and this opens up my global variables and I want to create a global bool. Let's call it new game and I'll check the checkbox. So now back in my ply blocks, we'll say flow if A equals B, and we want to say if new game equals true. So we'll go to variables, global variable, new game equals a common bool of true. We want to load UI. And then we want to set new game to false. So that's in variables, set global value, set new game to a common bool of false. So now, when we leave town, and then we enter town again for the second time, new game will already be false. We won't load a second UI. However, how do we get the user interface to leave town with us? How do we get the user interface to follow us into the next scene? So let's take a look at our, I'll save this scene and move to my UI again. And on the RPG UI game object, our canvas, I'm going to add a ply blocks component. And here we'll say common on start and then I believe in the object category we can use don't destroy unload. This basically means when the scene changes it doesn't get deleted. So as we leave town and move about the game the canvas will follow us every time the scene changes. 
Now we'll also need our event system. Once again, this was the game object that lets us click on our user interface. I think we can get away with putting it inside the canvas. However, if we're not allowed to, I can't recall, we could also give it its own ply blocks and then say common on start, set self, don't destroy on load. But I'm just going to drop it in the canvas and hope it comes with us. So that's it for this one. Thank you for watching, and if you learned something, hit that like button. And join me next time, where we'll be making our health and experience bars.